Kiss The death of the true prophets, angels, and saints. Era? Without you atoning your own sins, because you have been relying. Humans, non ark of this covenant, or non bride of Christ, or non death of this churches. Because bride of Christ means death of churches. What is the churches? Humanity and your false churches. You know, what is the true church? The chosen one is the whom you called Catholic. Cat-ho-li. You know, a woman holy chosen church. What is my holy chosen church? Catholic because my father begged me for it, you know. My father begged me for it because that is where her children are. You know, that is where her children are. Who is her mother, Amitabha? You know, the true Mary, the true woman, not the shrine prostitute. You know, do you know when whom you call Jesus you said that this is my mother and this is my brother and this is my sister? He did not mention the woman to be his mother, whom you called Mary. You know, you knew that he did not mention that. For he said, his mother and his brother are those who does the will of his father. Who does the will of my father? Amitabha, why? We are working for my father. Like here, I am here. While she is by the lunar, And sending me the lights, you know, as a lion of Judah. She is my Judah, and I am her lion below, the tribe from the Ashir. Which is, throughout incarnations, the only word that have not atoned anything is Reuben. You know, the only word that have not atoned anything is Reuben. So, this is what I'm about to speak to you, and we will carry on later what is... Uh, Are they going to send me? Because like I've stated to you that the uh, Catholic Church is a very conservative church. You cannot go there with the, you know, if you are a woman, you're not supposed to go there with the, your uh, skirt above the knee. You should go there when, you're, uh, when your uh, skirt is below the knee. At least uh, mid-skirt, you know, mid-skirt. Which is, uh, don't go there if you're going to be uh, sleepless. <laughs> Father, we, you know, you are, uh, we go there like at least the shoulder is covered. Because God's church is very conservative and consistent. You know, don't go there with your boobs showing off. Because you didn't go there to uh, show off your uh, big uh, babies, you know. You must, you're a lovable, lovable stocks if you you are proud with your tits. Because true angels that does not have big tits. Because it is, um, uh, to us, it is, um, uh, it is a very, uh, you cannot fight properly with that, you must. Even in your world, you won't, you won't and will not with your big tits, no. Because angels are slim. Right, Botox? You call it Botox, B-U-T-T-O-C-K-S. Just right and just. You know, we don't have big uh, bellies, big all that. No, we have lean bodies. Basically, don't have big tits because uh, we don't wear bras. You know, we don't wear bras, humans. We wear camison, that's it. If you understand the word kamison, that is a very, very, like uh, what I wear in my white uh, garment. 
we we don't use bras in the beginning just camison like a shirt you know like a shirt and basically like we tied things up <laughs> because we don't even uh, claim as a woman no we don't you know we claim as a man because so when you are a woman means where you come from you know where you come from why because humans it's a symbol of Eve. You know, Eve, that um, uh, to find fair, how, uh, how it's going to be, how uh, a man needs a woman, he needs his end to be, you know. He needs to have his end to be shoved in somewhere else or behind the door up to you. You know, you're an adult anyway, don't speak like uh, an idiot. So, you must. Revelation 7, 4. Again, maybe somebody, somebody might, uh, might uh, self-righteous listening to me again. They'll think that, uh, you know, I cannot say this word. In the beginning, we speak the way we speak. We don't, uh, we don't sin with that. Why? What we say is not in our heart. It's just pass like uh, a Passover. You know, it's just like a water stream that just passes by. We don't think about it. It's like when I'm singing in the record. I didn't uh, mean to do that. I didn't expect me singing with that because I don't want anyone to hear my voice. Why? If I don't uh, like to hear my voice, voice, how much more the others, you know? So that is what... Uh, that is what... Uh, you shouldn't think you must self righteousness because angels don't speak from the heart. We speak just from by the nose. It's like a breath that uh, you know just passed by, and that's it. We don't re even remember what we say. We have to look back to it. But we don't look back. It will remind back to us when somebody tells us. You know, we don't. Uh, we don't. Things are not. Um. Uh, what you call this? How I how I'm supposed to explain this to you? It's like um like I just said, it's just like an ear just just passed by. We didn't think about it. We didn't uh, we didn't uh, want to what you call that? We we didn't expect to say those words. It just comes. Why humans? Because that is what we planted in the universe. You know. So uh. Revelation 7, I heard, 7, 4, I heard the number of the people who were sealed. It was a hundred, no, it isn't hundred and forty thousand, no. It wasn't a hundred and forty four thousand because I will tell you why. And uh, who were sealed from the old tribes of these children of Israel. 12,000 were sealed from the tribe of Judah, 12,000 from the tribe of Reuben, 12,000 from the tribe of God, 12,000 from the tribe of Bashi, 12,000 12, from the tribe of Naphtali, 12,000 from the, from the tribe of Manasseh, 12,000 from the tribe of Simeon, 12,000 from the tribe of Levi, 12,000 from the tribe of Issachar, 12,000 from the tribe of Shibulon, 12,000 from the tribe of Joseph, and 12,000 from the tribe of Benjamin. That is the number that were sealed. No, 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 no. Um, uh, this is what it is because uh, this is about the multiplications. What, ha Which and what tribe have multiplied in Brazil? You know, the meaning of uh, go out to the world and multiply. And this is what it is. If it comes. Because we have looked at it this morning. And he whom you call Jesus. We have, uh, we have looked at this this morning. And the uh, What comes is different. It's like... Um, Takes so long to come out. Why is it? My notes because uh, he whom you call Jesus, we've been, uh, we have uh, looked at it this morning and we've been, uh, 
he been asking me how many of this, how many of that, how many of this tribe, how many of that tribe, and how many is the other tribe, you know, like this. Basically, I was uh, reviewing everything, you know, reviewing everything and telling him, this is what it is, this is what is that. So there it is. The tribe of Judah only have five siblings, siblings, siblings. Siblims humans is the emblem from the seas unto the earth. Tribe of Judah has five, the sealed. Tribe of Reubens, nothing. Did have not multiply any. You know, they have not multiplied anything. It means humans, the, those, the saints, you know, the saints, the prophets, the apostles, no. The work of the God, you know. No, they have not done anything. They have not, basically, have not contributed to the word of God. You know? So, tribe of God, 16. Tribe of Ashir, only God, the mother, and offspring. How many offspring of this? These are, including Brenda Hines and my other whitey, and her offsprings, and offsprings of her nephews, niece, brothers, and Ten denarios multiplied to us her sisters and legions. You call family doing the will of God the Father. Brenda Hines was uh, my mother Amitaba, who was Anna Pinuel, um, a daughter of those times, and Bethlehem. Yeah, she became my, my mother's daughter of those times. Oh, I speak that. My mother says that she became my daughter of those times in Bethany and uh, Pauls in the, you know, in Israel. You know? So that's my mother speak. So, uh, including Brenda Hines and my other white and her offsprings and offspring, offsprings of nephews and niece brothers have ten denarius. What is the ten denarius? The, if you reverse the word deni, den, uh, denarius, it means soiranid. So, soiranid means children's. Children's that have multiplied to us, her brothers and sisters, that they become 12 legions. You know? Family doing the will of God the Father. While well, the tribe of Naphtali have 17 and 10 men offsprings and 19 sons and nieces and granddaughters. The will of God the Father's arcs of the covenants. Or the sir, the sires, you know, the sires. What you call sires? Sires is only one sires whom you call Japnel Elohim. S I R E, you know, because father is father, father is the children of God. Why? Because in this end, they have their own children, spiritually and physically. So they become their own fathers, which is part of the arcs. If you reverse the word arcs, it means scars. Scars means what they have multiplied throughout incarnations until to this very end. So, uh, tribe of Manasseh 12 and one offspring, which is hidden in the covenant. Where is the covenant? Church of God. Where is the church of God? But, um, uh, Kat Olek. Kat Olek, the cho chosen church of whom you call Chapnel Elohim. He have the chastity of the priests. You know, one hidden. Why hidden? Because among all the priests, you don't know which one he is. But we will knew. You know, we will knew because in the judgment, you will all be facing us. Which is there, we will see which one of us, who is us and who is not us. Because this is a copy, like a, a footprint, you know, like um, you are doing the scan or Printing the, the original to make uh, another copies. And I am the one who, you know, created, you were created from my image, which is I was the original, born without sin, and for the rest to be born without sin. So, uh, tribe of Manasseh, 12 and 1 offspring, which is, he becomes the seminarians. Tribe of Sim Simeon, 81 of springs and 18 children's 92 grandkids 
and also there is hidden pressed in his uh, in his uh, legions tribe of Levi 91 to 98 because he have more 1990s was the last time he had here you know and one non priest non priest is because they were in the Anglican Church, the Church of England. You know, accepted there as Elizabeth because it's supposed to be a man. But because of the transgressions of the bodies, many have, have uh, to accept of what they are not. You know, which is they'll be depending on what they've done. You know. And the uh, tribe of Levi 91, tribe of Ishakar. Nine Rachasi male servants because to reverse the word is a car is Rachasi. Rachasi means a male servant, priest, and some hijos and one sister of Manasi feel for one male Christ. Meaning to say, humans, one of the one of Manasi's sisters, one of the priest sisters, fell in love for a male Christ. What is the male Christ? Angels and saints. And two female of Benjamin tribe fell for male Christ. Who is male Christ? Angel Gabriel. You know, Angel Gabriel. And uh, this is the woman just uh, taken recently, you know, a few years ago. And tribe of Sibulon, 91, plus three grandchildren of springs and three male servants of Christ and one sister called Nan. A Nan, a sister that works in the, um, uh, dorm, uh, what you call it? Uh, there's an, a covenant in, con, in the convent, you know, in the convent. We call it covenant because that is where children, ladies, goes to. Convent. Meaning of covenant, while the male goes to seminarians. Why? Because we are um, conservative. God is conservative. You know, like uh, you cannot go into true church with the, uh, with the, uh, you know, like uh, how you look like when you go to your other church in your huts. I don't call it church because it is not a chosen church. You go to Catholic Church with the uh, right and just looking. You don't need to put uh, any... Uh, well, when I go to church, I put a little, just a very, very light. Because uh, Raphael don't like too much makeup on, you know. I they, they, they just uh, think that I am more look like Chinese, you know. Because uh, my mixture humans is Spanish, half Chinese, and Korean, you know. So, uh, which is if you look, uh, this is what my, cous my, my cousin said, or my sister says, or my what you call friend, that like a British a red Indian, because the real red Indian is British, you know. British humans, the real red Indian, the ancient red Indian. And uh, so, uh, tribe of Sibulon, as I stated to you, tribe of Ishakar is nine, or Rachasi, male servant priest, and some hijus, and one sister of Manasi, filled for one male Christ, and two female of Benjamin tribe, filled for male Christ. Tribe of Sibulon, 91, plus three grandchildren's offsprings, and three male servants of Christ, and one sister called Nan. Tribe or sister, you know, convent, covenant. Tribe of Joseph has 94 offsprings, 23 grandchilds, and 15 children, 5 male servants of God, chastised. Again, priesthood. Chastised and 2 female servants fell for us saints in 80s. It was 1880s when they have the last covenant, um, a madre, a nun, you know. And then after that life, they have they have uh, seven childrens. After that, they fill for the tribe of Manasi, eleven granddaughters, one male servants. Benjamin tribe has eleven grandchildrens, ninety-four grandsons, and eighteen granddaughters and grand. The last generations has two male Christ. What is the last generation that has two male Christ? 
the tribe of Magdala. They have two male Christ. What is the two male Christ? The father and the son. You know, the father and the son, two male Christ. Why? Because angels are called church. T-S-I-R-C-H to reverse that Christ. Because Christ is a man and I am the churches. Because the other meaning of the church is churches. So I am the churches for I am the one who are and always behind every male and female. You know, churches is like going in the church. Um, uh, nobody there and I go there because it's not filthy. When there's many people, it's filthy. Why? Because even demons goes in there. Why? They ask for forgiveness of the sins. You know? So like you, I am every and ev I am the woman, each and every male and female, as you were made from my image. You were copied from my image, you know. So that is the seal. I'm um, talking about this, and uh, talking about this, it's just uh, means that we've done sealing humans. We've done sealing the true children of God's. You know, it will be anytime soon he will be here. You know, anytime soon now he will be here. So, uh, as uh, I don't really want to keep thinking about he will come when he wants to. But uh, since last night we have argued again because, uh, you know, we have argued again because... Uh, like, I don't have anything anymore, but I still give what I have. You know, I still give what I have. Even if it was my last bit, I still give. So, uh, and uh, he said, when I come, you will surely not be with anyone else anymore. You know, you know why you must, um, I was really, really, uh, my soul's really, really crying last night because I am a free woman. When I say I'm a free woman, meaning a spirit, even in flesh, I am free. You know, I am free. And to have my spirit tied and not with him on the judgment is just a really a different thing, you know. A really different thing. It's different feeling to uh, to have your uh, spirit tied, tidying up uh, Tiding a knot with your another kind spirit, you know. When you say another kind, meaning to say humans that we were planted to get together and in this end, it's like uh, what you call this? We are love and hate, you know. We are love and hate. So, Father, put us together for me to love one another. You know, because I am love and he is eight. And depending on the, on the time and the hour when he is love, I am hate. It's like you. It's your emotions that changes all the time. You know, which is, I'll tell you about that later on, you know. We are love and hate that cannot be together. But we're, we're trying to, uh, you know, for the forgiveness of your sins. Because if I don't do that, you know... Um, it's a very, very deep uh, thing in my side because uh, I have so-called aunts that uh, calls me all this, calls me crazy, calls me going nuts, all that. Because um, only my aunt here where I am believes what I say, you know, believes what I say. But I just don't talk to them all. I just let it be, you know, I just let it be. So, uh and uh, there are a few so-called aunts. They're not really my aunts, you know. They're just uh, children of demons that been into my tribe that uh, I need to forgive. But uh, what they keep doing to me daily, gossiping me, prostituting me, whoring me through by their words, is really sick into my spirit, you know. That is why I keep posting last night about that. I have sacrificed my happiness for the people to be forgiven, for the people to be, I would say, forgiven. Because as long as I, you know, 
It is Him that cannot forgive. You know, it is Him. I, I just let it be. I just don't care about anything. Even when people try to disgust me with their words, I just carry on. You know, though I'm hurt, I don't bother about it. It's just Him that. It's just Him that couldn't forgive them, couldn't forget that. You know, and that is why my mother crying last night, and I have posted that on my Facebook that I've said that if it weren't for my mother or my father, I won't give a shit about anyone, you know? Because it's really, really painful to me, humans, that I am a free woman, spiritually and physically, frequencies and soulfully, but I have to tie the night, you know? I have to tie the night, meaning to say the hymn. I have to tie both of my night. I was married one of my night in flesh, and I will be married to him too in flesh. You know, and that is difference because it will be judgment, which he will, he will tie, he will like, he will, he won't. Oh, Lara. He will be like, uh, you know, like when you're married already, you can't uh, do. As being a free woman, you can't do what what you used to do. And it is really, really like, I'm still coping from it. Like, as being a Holy Spirit. And then he was a free woman. And uh, I didn't really bother about anyone. But for him to, it's like being captive by him, you know. It's like by... It's like a bird that being captive and hold on and put inside of a cage. You know, and uh, this all done already because he already he already made an agreement with me a few days ago and then he, he write this all down in the rocks which cannot cannot be destroyed or anything because once it's sealed that's it. I am his forever and ever. And I am not. It's just different, you know, as, as Holy Spirit. You are captive to, like I said, put inside of a cage. Which is really, really painful, you know. It's more painful than being captive in a flesh because being in a flesh, you can still do whatever you want, but to be captive in a spirit is different thing, you know? And that is the marriage of the Lamb that you called resurrection of the, of the holy and the dead. You know? You must... If those people who just love, who keep laughing at me and name calling me just know how I feel, I just, I just want to slap them with the truth, you know, because they have no idea what I'm going through, just to save the fucking people in this earth, you know. Yet, human, you keep leading these words to our strays. That is the reason why I have to agree. To be married with Satan whom you call Jesus. <laughs>